Oh, you skipped the intro. Man, so we are playing with the bad Mama Gemma herself, which is Ragio. Ouch. Ragio sama. Which is a uh, more of a I don't know like if she's got any guard breaks or anything like that. Wow. Yeah, I don't know what to There we go. Oh, that's what you're supposed to do then. Oh, there we go. Yep. Ah, oh, get the side steps in. So he likes to play smart. Ooh. I like it when people play smart. All right, here we go. Let's see what they they do here. He's got no meter, so I'm going to go for He's going to go for meter. Yep, I thought so. I thought so. What the world? There we go. Yep, it's gonna burst there. There we go. Yep. <laughs> what? Wait a minute. I gotta look back at the footage. Did that really just kill? Hold on a second. There we go. You better. We might want to burst that. Yeah. Ah, oh, let's burst that. There we go. Yeah, let's uh, do that. Oh my God. There we go. Ah, oh. well, there goes that. Okay, Ragio is <laughs> freaking so slow, but goddamn, she hits like a truck, and she is a bad mama jamma. Okay, that's fine. Let's burst that. Yeah, she's gonna burst that. Wow. You're gonna burst that? Yes, you are. Wow. I should do the... I'm gonna burst this, actually. Oh, I was gonna try and go for the... You know, the, the whatever. Okay, so... Try and build some meter? No, you're not. Wow. That's gonna hurt, like, a lot. Because, uh... Oh, he missed it. Oh, I'm so. Oh, what? There we go. Uh oh, that's the guard break. Oh, my God, Juan, block this. <laughs> Damn, dude, that was, that came close, man. Holy crap. That was a, a freaking lengthy match. And compared to the freaking last time out that we had here on this channel with a specific Grand Courtier or whatever she, her name is, Nui Harime, that timed us out by doing the cheesy uh, like tactic that, <laughs> that all of them do. This one was actually legit. So, uh, Mama, Mama Jamma, uh, if there's any Nui's that I see on here, they're all going to die. Promise. I promise. All right. It's going to be the same person. I'm sad that they, they're not doing, like, specific ranks for specific characters. It's just a entire, like, for throughout all your characters, or it's, like, more of a player profile. Wow. There we go. Woo! 
God damn, the damage is ridiculous. Oh, I wanted to... I wonder if, uh... I, don't, I haven't really, like, studied her strings all that much. Uh, he wants to go for the, for the stuff. Alright, I'm gonna go for... Uh, he's gonna... He's got no meter. I'm gonna go for... I got it! Ay, bitch. Oh boy, that's crazy, man. Woo, the damage, my boy. Nice. Oh. Okay, that's fine. If he wants to do that, I think that's going to be a, a wall break. Wall bounce there. Yeah, let's not deal with that. Woo! <laughs> that was my fun there. All right. What are you going to do? Okay, you're going to go for the damage ender. That should be death for me. Yeah, this does so much damage, man. The damage in this game is ridiculous. All right. Let's see what we can do here. I know I got a little carried away there, but I haven't studied her strings fully. Damn, so how does that work? Damn. I don't know if she has any strings that go into guard smashes or anything like that. There we go. God damn it. Got it. Wow, that, that reach is far, man. And you know what I realized, too? I have a, uh, a guard break uh, super, so I should use that more often. All right, let's see if he knows how to... <laughs> Where are you going? What the hell? Let's, let's break out of that. What? No. So I, I don't have anything that can... Hmm, I have to just figure out some things. Yeah, I just don't know. Yeah, I don't... I think uh, once she whiffs something, that's, that's it. But he is playing super patient there. Like, super tryhard. <laughs> Holy crap. Very, very focused he was. That's for damn sure. Uh, let me actually uh, go and find some strings real quick because I kind of just turned on and started playing Ragyo. So I'm going to like look up some strings real quick. I'll be right back. Oh, boy. We have a good connection right now. Oh, boy. Look at this intro. God damn. The heel, the heel tap is so sick. Oh, Kiryu in Satsuki once again. Do mommy dearest versus daughter dearest. Can we can we get a petition going for like feather suit? Please. There we go. Went. Went. There we go. Babush. God damn. There we go. My god. This is very, very much different from the from the Satsuki we know that we were fighting earlier. I'll tell you what right now. What? Wait! Oh, I think I know what happened there. I think I know what happened there. That was bad on my part. I'm actually gonna do this because if not, I'm gonna die. There we go. Ooh, hoo, 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 hoo. <laughs> oh my god, that's crazy. Did you see that? I teleport. I'm like, nah, I don't think so. I don't think so, B. I don't think so, B. Oh, 
Oh, that's not good for you, my boy. I'll tell you this right now. This is gonna hurt. This is gonna hurt quite a bit, my boy. Uh, 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 uh. Oh boy. Actually, that probably could have killed. <laughs> I tell you how funny that look that sounds. Oh. Alright, here we go. Show you the power of clothing. Come to me, child. Come to me. <laughs> She's so sick. Come to me, child. Yes. This is my uh this is my uh, This is my application for the uh, for the choir. Man, that was sick. <laughs> that was sick. That's definitely some stuff that I, I need to uh, do more of is do the projectiles and try and trap them with uh, with the threads because that those threads track and that's freaking ridiculous in my opinion. And then I gotta throw more stuff out there. Oh, he's back for the run back. Mommy dearest will grant you a run back, Mr. Boneless Tacos. There we go. By the way, taco sounds really good right now. Okay, here we go. I'm gonna try and uh, get some a few. Ah, faked me out there, so I'm gonna try and just guard. Oh, I thought I could. I guess not. There we go. Yeah, you better burst that because that's gonna hurt. Boy, oh boy. Right, let's uh my goodness Satsuki man Satsuki's I can't I can't talk I'm the same way <laughs> well he already got his well bound so Woo! oh boy you better you better you better pray to God Damn, oh my lord. I don't think so, my boy. <laughs> no, no burst that, dude. That's the thing about Ragya. You have to know where to burst because she does everything from far away, man. It's kind of it's kind of cheap. There we go. There we go. I don't know why I do that. Here we go. <gasps> That's crazy. That's crazy. Did you see that? I wasted so much meter there. I tried to do the. I thought my uh, my uh, my square or my uh, damage. Uh... Okay, cool. <gasps> Holy crap! So yeah, some like certain things like that will drop like all the time. Crazy man. I get the wall bounce. Gonna get the combo. Yup, yup, yup. I'm gonna just uh, get the meter build. That's pretty good. Oh boy. Wow. I don't know if you want to do that. <gasps> oh, that's the guard break. Oh, my bad. That's my bad. Well, bam, bam. That's still a lot of damage, dude. There we go. Oh, my God. Nice. Nice, I like that string a lot. The projectiles into so that's triangle square. You shoot out the projectiles and you press square and it tracks them. That's such a good string, man. I'm gonna use that more often. Man. Hey, what's going on? Post production me here. You guys would not believe what happened. My audio got corrupt. At least my microphone did. So I was able to salvage the the game audio, but for the most part, I'm gonna be here. And I might be doing live commentary, maybe a play-by-play -play telling you guys what I've been thinking when I'm playing Ragio, maybe some tips. 
as to what you want to do when you pick up Ragio because I did have to overcome a few things mentally to be able to be playing Ragio properly. So, the first thing I need to tell you guys is, of course, Ragio is, as y'all may know, it's she's a zoner character, so she has a lot of really long range strings, really slow strings, but they go very far. Not only that, but she does a ton of damage. And because of that, she is very, very deadly when it comes to just getting hit in general. Because long range attacks with, lo with very powerful attacks equals like very bad situations because you can like make unburstable situations like that one right there and <laughs> you can just lose the round and you have to be to properly know when to burst against ragio because if you just do it up all of a sudden without knowing that she's not anywhere near uh the burst radius for you to hit her then yeah you're gonna get kind of smoked there so uh that's something to keep in mind of with ragio oh by the way this is where i got a rage quit that's right <laughs> This rage quit uh, made me feel so good. Uh, the, the, the dude was literally trying his absolute best. And then finally, I was just basically just demolishing every single decision that he was making. And ultimately, he just pulled the plug and said, I can't take this anymore. So uh, there's that. Uh, the next match, and we go in straight into the next match, which I think is a Ragio mirror, actually, which is which was crazy. I didn't think that I was going to actually do a Ragio mirror. But lo and behold, there she is in her all her glory. But for the most part, like I was saying, the uh, the whole point of Ragio is to seriously just try and get in, uh, or try to get in as much damage as possible, trying to basically just exhaust resources from your opponent. And then finally, when they have no resources, you can go in and provide as do a ton of damage, uh, because that's what she does. She does punches you in the face until you. You, you're not long you're no longer breathing so uh that's the whole main point uh when i try to approach i try to approach these matches trying to exhaust the enemy's meter before anything else just because i know that as soon as you get like people i hit people with ragio they just want to burst out immediately and i think that's what a lot of the new players or the players that can't really comprehend the the whole fighting game aspect of this game is that whenever you know whenever they get hit they just decide to burst immediately well sometimes that's not the greatest option depending on what starter you got you can you can just save your burst because the the dam the combo won't do that much damage if it's a big meaty starter like counter hit or if you know that the opponent's going to be doing a big old touch of death combo then yes you burst at that moment um so yeah in that situation Oh boy, that was a bad burst by me right there. I didn't think he was actually going to burst or do his full square string, which is the damage ender. And uh, when you do the damage ender, uh, that's that's considered like a smash attack pretty much. Oh, in this situation right here, I decided to go for a, a guard break. And I mentioned when I was doing the video is that that was Ragio's guard break super, which means like if he, even if you try to hit her normally, it wouldn't actually hit her. So she would just tank it basically. So what you have to do is you have to do a guard break of your own to be able to just get her out of that state immediately because if not, she's going to tank everything. So what I did was basically just did the, the zoning, the air zoning button. I was throwing out projectiles. And then what I did was uh, just did a string into the guard break. And that's an actual string that Ragio has. And I was able to completely nullify the guard break super that she did. So uh, at, at this moment right now, I noticed that the this, this, this player really doesn't know too much about Ragio. And I know that because he's bursting at the wrong moments. And not only that, but he's also not doing any combos, even though he has all the resources. At least the good combos. The combos that you want to burst. Uh, and at this moment right here, I think it, I build enough meter for me to... Yeah, for me to actually continue the combo. I'm not sure though. Yeah. Oh, shoot. Yeah, sometimes I mess it up. Mess it up either because of timing or other things. Yeah, he was able... I was able to just completely... Uh, nullify his homing dash and that's something that i try to do quite a bit i realize that sometimes this game not only requires you to homing homing dash at the right moment but also to fake out your homing dashes for you to you know be able to fake out their their anti-air and once they fake out their anti-air you can rush in 
and get a big old combo. I try to do that a bit in this game, and I think that's just beginner mentality. To be honest, this is basic kill a kill game plan is to try and fake out the opponents to doing to committing to a, a button or an anti-air or something of that of the sorts and then punishing accordingly and i go right into the second match here now i'm starting to get up there in the thread counts one thing that i want to express concern about is the thread counts um and how they were like established or the, how they were basically just how they came up or how, how they function uh, and this game is similar to Street Fighter V, where it's not your threat count is dependent on your entire player profile instead of it, of it being pinned to your two characters. And I really don't like that because whenever you pin your threat count and your rank towards your entire player profile instead of your character, your character that you're trying to learn will now face against the higher rank, like ranked characters. I like how Tekken does it. Tekken does it really, really well, where you level up one character and then you can go to another character and it'll be a lower rank. However, the higher rank you are in with your main character, then the higher you get, or the, the higher that every single character across the entire character select screen becomes as well. Like, for example, if you get to the orange ranks, you automatically go into like the green ranks in Tekken 7. All your characters will become green ranks. I like that system quite a bit instead of starting to the, from the very, very beginning. But for the most part, the uh, the ranking system in this game is not my favorite. Oh, this part right here. Watch this part. We're literally pl playing footsies right now. <laughs> I want you to rewind that, that moment and tell me that that wasn't the best case of kill a kill footsies you guys have ever seen. Because seriously, it was that was super good. <laughs> that was super good. So uh, I, I I got a, a, a giggle out of that, or a chuckle, or a kick out of that match, just because we were just pressing square the entire time. And then finally, I decided to just wait a little bit longer and whiff punish his uh, close range attack, and it was super fun to do. So uh, that was a great moment. But yeah, Ragio is just overall Ragio. Just to kind of summarize and. And end the video and such. Uh, Ragio's ridiculous. She's super freaking good. She's got crazy zoning tools. She's got crazy guard break moves or guard break strings. And yeah, if you guys want to play Ragio, I wouldn't blame you. She's super freaking good. Anyways, take care, everybody. Have a good rest of your day. Well, I'll be uploading more Kill a Kill, of course. And I'll see you next time.